for one day only at the Eagles Hall in Cranbrook. There were board games, card games, computer games, yes, games for just about everyone. It's called Extra Life Game Day, a 12-hour gaming marathon raising money in support of the Children's Miracle Network. Organiser Dave Miller has personal ties to the charity as it supported his son through an early battle with an enlarged heart. Thankfully his son would survive and Dave's experiences along the way would spur him into action. I started meeting more and more families and more and more people that needed help through the Alberta Children's Hospital and especially over the past year while we planned this year's event. It's become more of a mission for me. In 2014, Game Day raised approximately $3,400, an encouraging figure for an event that Miller admits was in some respects a shot in the dark. We had basically threw something together that we knew we would enjoy so that we knew gamers would enjoy it. This year we've learned from last year, we knew what took off, what didn't. One of the biggest changes this year, an entire wall that resembles a museum of gaming history otherwise known as Retro Alley. We've all got those systems sitting on our back shelves that we don't use, and we've all pulled them out for the day. And as it turns out, this edition was right on the money for enthusiasts like Callan Ryan, who still enjoys the classics. The newer ones, I mean, they've got, you know, a lot more going for them in some ways, but you, you can't beat the gameplay and the fun with these ones. You move and you jump, and that was all you did. And nowadays games, they're fun, but they're so much more complicated. An army of volunteers kept things organised throughout the day. In addition to sharing their gaming expertise, some ran tournaments. For Robbie Demchuk, the game of choice was Nintendo's Smash Brothers. It's essentially the all-star cast of all the big Nintendo franchises. Just pretty much a King of the Hill type game. Those in attendance agreed that raising money for kids in need is always worthwhile. I had heard that it was mostly going towards charities and to support a children's hospital. I mean, you can't beat a good cause. This is only its second year, but it's way busier than it was last year, even. It's a great cause, so, and it's something that people like to do and all the children's hospital, yeah. As he proudly wears this medal around his neck, a reward for all the money he raised last year, Miller does so in memory of Dominic Rooney. A good friend of ours who I met while doing this event they lost their son to leukemia. I'm just hoping that Dom's parents are out there and that somehow they see this and that they know that they're, you know, we're looking out for them. 2015 saw over $4,300 raised with more than 200 people attending throughout the day. For Go in Cranbrook, I'm James Farnan.